consider px is equal to x to the 4 minus 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus 12x minus 8. A, use the factor theorem to show that x minus 1 and x plus 2 are factors of this polynomial. B, divide px by an appropriate polynomial to completely factorize it and hence find all of its zeros. Okay, so it says to use the factor theorem. What is the factor theorem? Let's see. It says that if I sub a number in and then I get 0, then x minus that number is a factor. And if I don't get 0, it's not a factor. So if I want to show that x minus 1 is a factor, I sub in 1. And if I get 0, then x minus 1 is a factor. And if I don't get 0, then x minus 1 isn't a factor. So p1 is 1 to the 4 minus 3 times 1 squared minus 2 times, sorry, 1 cubed minus 2 times, just let me fix that, that looks a little bit too much, like 13 1 cubed minus 2 times 1 squared plus 12 times 1 minus 8. So 1 minus 3 would be minus 2, minus 2 would be minus 4, plus 12 would be 8, minus 8 would be 0. So therefore, x minus 1 is a factor of px. So that means that I can write px as x minus 1 times some other thing in brackets. Alright, well the factor theorem would say that if I want x plus 2 to be um, a factor, then I would have to do, well it would only work if it was x minus something, so that would be x minus minus 2, so I should stick minus 2 in there. So minus 2 to the 4 minus 3 times minus 2 cubed minus 2 times minus 2 squared plus 12 times minus 2 minus 8. So that would be 16 minus 3 times minus 8 minus 2 times 4 plus 12 times minus 2. So that would just be minus 24, I suppose. Minus 8. Well, minus... So I've got 16, and minus 3 times minus 8 would be plus 24. I've got a minus 8, and a minus 24, and a minus 8. So 16 minus 8 minus 8 would be 0, plus 24 minus 24 would be 0, so that's 0. And so therefore, x minus minus 2, which is equal to x plus 2, is a factor of px. Okay. What does part B say? Divide px by an appropriate polynomial to completely factorize it and hence find all of its zeros. Well, we know that we've partly factorized it already. We know that, um, here's B, that px is going to be like x minus 1, x plus 2 times some other polynomial that would go in this place here. So something like qx for some polynomial qx. And because um, we would have, we've got two x's here in these two factors, there must be an x squared left in the other one because the total degree is 4. So that qx is actually going to be a quadratic and hopefully we should be able to factorize it because we know how to factorize a quadratic. So what we need to do is we need to divide px by this um, x minus 1x plus 2. So if we figure out what that is, we can divide by it. And that must be our appropriate polynomial to divide by. So let's um, start a new page. 
actually I'll just go back to this page so that would be equal to let's see x take 1 x plus 2 so we'd have x squared plus 2x so that's the x times the x plus 2 minus x minus 2 that's the um, minus 1 times the x plus 2 times qx and 2x minus x is just x so that's the polynomial that I want to divide by alright let's actually do that division now so I want to get my x to the 4 minus 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus 12x minus 8 and I want to divide it by x squared plus x minus 2 okay so this works just like um, long division did with um, whole numbers what we're going to do is we're going to divide it by and we know that there's not going to be anything left over at the end so whatever we get left is the QX and the way we do it is we only need to look at the highest powers um, in and out two polynomials so I've got an X squared here in my divisor and an X to the 4 in um, my original PX so X squared goes into X to the 4 X squared times because X squared times X squared would be X to the 4 so I put that there so x squared times x squared is x to the 4 and what I actually need to do is I need to multiply this whole thing by x squared and take off what I get so x squared times x would be x cubed and x squared times minus 2 would be minus 2x squared and then I have to subtract all of that so x to the 4 minus x to the 4 is 0 as we knew it would be minus x cubed minus x cubed would be minus 4x cubed and minus 2x cubed minus minus 2x cubed would be 0 okay so let me bring the rest of it down again okay now we have a new division problem now we want to divide x squared plus x minus 2 into 4x cubed plus 12x minus 8 so let's see x squared goes into minus 4x cubed minus 4x times so minus 4x because minus 4x times x cubed is in fact minus 4 sorry minus 4x times x squared is in fact minus 4x cubed minus 4x times x would be minus 4x squared and minus 4x times minus 2 would be uh, 8x and so I want to take that off so minus 4x cubed minus minus 4x cubed gives me 0 0 minus minus 4x squared gives me 4x squared 12x minus 8x gives me 4x and minus 8 minus nothing gives me minus 8 so now I do it again x squared goes into 4x squared 4 times and let's see 4 times x squared is 4x squared 4 times x is 4x 4 times minus 2 is minus 8 and I subtract that off and I get 0 okay so division tells me that px so this thing under the division sign that's my px right that's px there so px is equal to x squared plus x minus 2 times x squared minus 4x plus 4 and we know how to factorize this bit because we had it factorized to begin with and we just have to factorize this bit so let me think I need something that multiplies to give x squared so x times x something that multiplies to give 4 2 times 2 is reasonable enough and then if I do 2x plus 2x that'll give me plus 4 so maybe if I tried minus 2 times minus 2 so these two multiply to give these two multiply to give 4 but 
x times minus 2 is minus 2x, x times minus 2 is minus 2x, and they add together to give minus 4x, so it is x minus 2, x minus 2. So now that's completely factorized. And so, uh, what else did I have to do? Hence, find all of its zeros. Well, its zeros will happen when x minus 1 times x plus 2 times x minus 2 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. And that will only happen if one of those factors is 0. So the zeros must be, if I stick x equals 1 in this first factor, that will give me 0, so 1. If I stick x equals minus 2 in this second factor, that will give me 0, so minus 2. And if I stick 2 in this next factor, that will give me 0, so plus 2. And the last one has plus 2 as well. So um, those are all of the zeros of my polynomial.